Welcome to uh, Final Cut Pro Training 1. This will be my first lesson of a series of lessons I'm going to put together. Um, basically what I'm trying to do here is uh, start off with real basic training, give it to you for free on YouTube, and uh, probably put some pretty good training here and then uh, go into some training sites and actually paying for it. I'm going to start off really basic. I'm going to go at a normal speed. I'm not going to go fast. I'm not going to jump ahead of things. I'm going to give you stuff that I've used to succeed and putting my career where it's where it's gone. I've been very successful. So let's start off with just the basics here of how to open up Final Cut Pro, get video in, and all that great kind of stuff. So the first thing you can do once you've installed your Final Cut Pro or your Final Cut Studio is you'll probably have a uh, Final Cut Pro icon down here. You can click this and this will open up Final Cut Pro for you. Menu will come up here if you don't have your ca camera or deck hooked in. Obviously if you don't have a camera or a deck you can't be ingesting footage into the machine. So uh, we'll get to that later. Um, you can either check again if you do have one connected and you want to fix your cords, or you can hit continue here and you can just open up Final Cut Pro without having a camera connected. Uh, we'll close out the project we have open right now. So this is just how it will look. I'll go Final Cut Pro, let's do, I'm sorry, let's go File, New Project. And here we have a new project, Untitled Project 1, Sequence 1. Uh, and this is your bin area. This is where we're going to store our sequences that we'll work with. We can have multiple sequences, and we'll have our footage that we uh, are going to ingest later on. Um, right also up in here, you see there's another little tab. This is the effects. just want to show you where that's at. you got your transitions, your filters, some generators, a couple audio things. And we'll get all into the uh, transitions and filters and all that kind of stuff um, in some other lessons. But I just want you to be aware of where they're at. So let's come back, we'll click on our Untitled Project 1. Uh, this window right here, this little monitor, is where we're going to be watching our footage. So any footage we're, we're scrolling through, our B-roll, is where we're going to be watching set ins and outs and putting it down to our timeline. Right here is our source window. This is where we're going to be watching everything that comes right down here that we'll be putting on our timeline. We can look at right up in here, and this will be, just as we cut stuff to our timeline, it's going to be able to be watched in this monitor. One thing I do want to show you first, let's do, uh, I'm going to actually close this out. We'll do Final Cut Pro, quit Final Cut Pro. I just want to show you another way to open Final Cut Pro. If you don't have the icon down here for some reason, uh, you can always come to Applications, scroll down until we see Final Cut Pro right here, and we could open up Final Cut Pro. And I'll scan through again. It's going to give me that pop-up error. I'm going to say Continue. And here we are back in our project. Um, now, I want to save this project. I'm going to go File save project as. Um, you might want to save your desktop, maybe have a folder on your desktop called Final Cut Pro Projects and you save it to there. I have a uh, secondary drive. I like to push stuff to my uh, my time machine here. So I'm going to create a new folder in my backup drive and I'm just going to call it uh, FCP Training Projects. We'll create that. And now that I'm in that, I'll title this project in Final Cut Pro Training 1. We'll hit Save. And now you'll see, instead of saying Untitled, we have Training 1. If I want to, if I'm done working for the day, I want to quit out of Final Cut Pro. Um, I leave for the day, I come back, I want to go to the Finder. I can come up to my Time Machine. Here's FCP Training Projects I just created, and there's my Training 1 project. I can reopen that up. It'll scan through. I'm going to get this error again. Well, not really an error, but it's just letting me know that the camera's not hooked up or a deck. I'll hit continue. And here we are again. We're back in. Now, I'm going to ingest some footage, so I'm going to hook my camera up. Uh, and just so you can see, I'll, cl I'll once again close this out. I'm just going to reopen it just so you see I don't get that error message again. It's going to scan through. Okay, I've opened up without the error message because my thing, my camera is plugged into my computer. Now I have it plugged in through a firewire. I'm going to come up here. I want to ingest some footage, so I'm going to go to Log and Capture. Yeah, initializing the Log and Capture here. Okay, if I can, I now have this uh, right here. It says, uh, here's my window. Here's kind of my bin area. I can hit Play. This is actually a uh, project I did last summer. It's for... Uh, Maury's Pier, which is uh, down in Jersey at the uh, shore, they were unveiling a new haunted ghost ship, 
and uh, we did a little promo video for them. I can actually I'll post that up there on the uh, on our account so everyone can see that commercial. A little two minute promo video we did came out really good. But uh, I'm gonna stop this for a second, and I want to record them into this. So I'm gonna hit capture now, capture now, and I'll start recording through. So it's gonna capture what I'm watching right now. When I'm done, when I'm done waiting for it to record, when I've decided what I want, I'm going to hit escape, and that'll clear it out. But uh, here, let's uh, I'll pop in another tape real quick. That probably has more of the ride stuff. Just a little thing. It's telling, saying that I inserted a new tape. I'll play this. So we can play this. You can just see here some footage of the uh, what's going on in this haunted house. They have uh, there's a guy jumping out. So if I want to get that, I could always uh, rewind real quick. Okay, I'm just going to capture now. And here we'll see this guy actually coming, popping out. I'll wait for this to run all the way through here. Oh, there he is. Okay, we got some guy popping out there. He's all bloody. Okay, I'm done recording that. I'll hit escape. Uh, maybe I want to scan back some more. I'll see if I can find another shot for us. Oh, there's the signage. We got a little bit of sign here. Got a little capture now. Got the ghost ship sign. Igneous Fadius. I'm gonna pan over to this ghost ship sign. All right, so we got the ghost ship sign. We'll take it in. There's enough of that. Uh, I can close that out. I'll just quickly retitle these. This is the. Notice how there wasn't anything in there. I double clicked the clip. I double using the icon here, and here is my actual thing here. These are the two guys talking. Super. We can listen to that. Super. Hear them talking. Um, I'm gonna retitle that. I'll just say owners talking. Uh, this clip here is the guy popping out of the hole. I could have done. I should have done this in when I was ingesting him. I didn't do that. So we'll just say guy. Pop in. Click on this third one. That's the ghost ship sign. We'll do uh, ghost ship sign. So I have three things here. Uh, my sequence is right down here. You can see it's called sequence one. It's also up here. I'm just going to retitle this. I'll call it practice one. The other important thing is I want to show you. You can have we have this sequence down here. We can actually have multiple sequences. So we could. Uh, right click and come right down here to new sequence we can go new sequence let's just call it practice practice two and now I have two sequences there I can pop it in and here is my practice two sequence slash timeline here's my practice one there's two of them you can have as you can have multiple sequence I don't know how many up you could have in one bin but you can have a couple um, so let's just go back. We'll go to the ghost ship sign. I'm going to double click that footage and it loads up into here. You can see after I, I'll go to this guy popping out. Go to the ghost ship. So now that I'm in here, I can just come. I don't need to grab right on. Here's the little indicator right here. I don't need to grab right on it. Wherever I click, it's going to jump to. So if I click and I hold my mouse, it's going to scroll with me. I'm clicking on the left part of my mouse, my left mouse. And I can scroll through this. And that's how I get to my footage. Now, let's come down to the first this timeline down here. One thing I definitely want to tell you right up off is, is if you can expand how big your timeline is. So these little sections here. I'm gonna go Shift T, and that expands it. I can do it a second time; it gets bigger, and I do it a third time; it goes back down to small. I like to keep it about right about there. That's where I like it. So we can see we have video one here, audio one, audio two, audio three, audio four. I'm going to spend a whole section going over audio, so I'm going to get to that later because audio can get very confusing. And I really want to give you a perfect chance to hear everything I have to say about audio, how it works, how you deal with the channels, and how you why there are four channels down here, and obviously only two channels of audio you usually record. Um, for this, we're just going to lay down from the beginning, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that stuff later. So let's get to this. Here's the ghost ship thing. I want to get it just as it's doing this pan. So I'm going to pull back. To set an in point, I'm going to hit I. We're setting an in point because we want to cut out, pick out what piece of this video we want to lay down to our timeline, our finished piece. So I'll set an in, and then I'll hit 
the space bar to play. And now I'm going to like let it stop right there. I'm going to set it out. And now I want to drop this down onto my timeline. So I'm going to grab, just click left click right in the middle of this, and I'm going to pull over to my source monitor. You can see I have insert, insert with the transition, overwrite, overwrite with the transition, replace, fit the fill, superimpose. We're going to go over all those later on. This for this simple edit, I'm just going to do a drop down. I'm going to do an overwrite. So it drops down, and now here on my timeline, and we can watch it in our source monitor. You'll see now just this one clip is put down to here. I can now go to this guy popping out, and I'll just pull this down here. I'm going to pick, scroll through it before he comes out. Maybe as we're pulling up, so I'll set an endpoint right here. I'll hit spacebar to play. <laughs> I'll set my amp. We'll go and pull again, we'll grab right in the middle, and we'll go to overwrite, and we'll drop. So now I have a sequence of two shots. One panning to the ghost ship sign, and the next panning of uh, this guy popping out. I showed you how to import footage. Let me show you one more thing real quick. Let's say you already have some footage, or maybe you have a picture on your computer, and you want to bring those into Final Cut Pro. Okay, well you can go import, you can come, I'm sorry, let's do, we can either do right click into our bin and have this little pop up and go to files, or we can actually come up here and go file, import, and we'll go to files. Um, let me see, I probably have a picture or something like that I can pull in from here. Uh, what is this picture here? We'll grab this picture here, this is just off my desktop, it's just a little picture I was doing with something with a green screen, messing around. And we can double click that, and you can see here's my picture I took. I took, I took my camera, I was just messing around with my green screen I have. And uh, I'll just set like an in here and just pull ahead a little bit, set it on and out. And I'm going to pull and drag this. We're going to put it, pull my cursor to the end, and we're going to drag and drop. So now I have for this shot, I just have this thing. I just wanted to show you that you can bring in stuff from your computer and how exactly you do that. Maybe you have some pictures saved, maybe you have video someplace else. But the basis of this lesson has been to show you how to bring footage in, how to save a project in Final Cut Pro, how to open that project, how to ingest footage with a video camera into Final Cut Pro, how to import footage that you might already have on your computer or pictures into Final Cut Pro. We went over the basis of a bin, how to save it, sequences, having multiple sequences. You can see I have my practice one here, practice two, practice this is the one. Um, and we also have, we went over the preview monitor, how to scroll around in here. If we have how to load footage into the preview monitor and how to scroll through and just to look at our thing. We don't want to grab our little yellow thing. We want to move right here. Remember, these are the in, this is the in point. This is the out point. We set that an in point with an I. We set the out point with an O. And over here is our source monitor. It reflects what is on our timeline. You can see as I scroll through the shots you put down. Um, just one more important thing. You can see as the audio is going, here are your audio lines. That's going to do it for this lesson. This is just the very beginning lesson. I want to get you moving in. Open up Final Cut Pro and bring a little footage in. Um, as the lessons go on, we'll get more advanced stuff. All right, thank you very much. This is TV Production Guy signing out.